Hello and welcome to this instructional activity video mini or bite size video being brought to you by the Georgia Department of Education. My name is Tania N. Davis and I am your virtual specialist in the area of social studies for second grade teachers of Georgia. Welcome, welcome. We're going to dive right in. We're talking about igniting engagement in your students and we're talking about ways that we can make learning sticky or make it stick for our students and allow them to hold on to, capture, retain, apply, long memory, long-term storage, all the things that we are trying to share with them so that they have ways to pull it out, ways to sync it with, with um, previous learning, and ways to make it make sense for them in their own way, having ownership for their learning and understanding deeper. So we're going to be talking about swirling, and the importance of adding a little swirl to all of your social studies lessons. And why would we do this? Because social studies, you're diving into topics that can be very heavy. You're diving into topics that can be very intriguing or interesting or thought provoking or new or challenging. I've never been outside of my city. I've never been beyond, you know, four streets down from my home. I didn't know that that existed. I didn't know anything about Girl Scout cookies. I didn't know about scarcity. You're learning so much about yourself, about the world around you, about your classmates. It's a lot. And it's a lot in a beautiful way, or it can be a beautiful way. We definitely want it to be a wonderful and happy and positive and forward-moving experience. So swirling will definitely help us to develop that and to process what we're learning and our feelings behind all those things as well, as in, in, addition to, in addition to our questions. So talking about swirling, what does that even mean? The S stands for speaking, W for writing. I stands for illustrating. And I have to tell you this, I just learned recently that swirling also can mean interacting. I did not realize that before, so I learned something new as well, and I'm sharing it with you. And then reading and listening. So W stands for writing. So I'm going to break that down. I'm going to call it journaling. And what can we write about? So once again, what have I learned? What does this information mean to me? What does it mean for me? Do I have more questions? How do I feel about what I just learned? I just learned about the civil rights movement. I just learned about segregation. I just learned about women not having the rights to vote until much later. I just learned about how somebody could become a change maker. Can I become a change maker? Am I too young? I just learned about economics and saving or spending or allocation. I've just learned a plethora of, th of things. How am I processing them? How am I understanding it? Let me sit down for a few minutes and allow me time to process my thoughts and or feelings. It could be positive thoughts. I loved what I just learned about. I can't wait to learn more. I have this question. When I get home, I'm going to ask my parents if I can dive in if we could do a Google search, if I can go on to a website and find more books about it, I am thoroughly engaged. So for journaling, I always set a timer for two to three minutes. You don't have to take a long amount of time for this, but allow your students to have that time uninterrupted. It's completely quiet. Nobody can move, ask a question out loud, tell you that they're finished. They have to sit. If they're done before the two or three minute timer goes off, they just sit and allow their classmates that freedom and that space to write what they're thinking and feeling out. The first few times you do this, I have to warn you or let you know in advance, you might have children that just stare blankly at you or sit and pout over their journal or their notebook, but don't give up and don't stop doing it in time. I'm telling you, they really will. They will begin to write something or something will inspire them or they won't feel pressured. You know, Let them know you're not grading it, you're not judging it or evaluating it. You just want to give them the opportunity to journal or get out their thoughts or feelings or questions about what they've just learned or experienced. And then you have I. I stands for illustrate or interact. Again, so you can I illustrate. I'm sorry, let's, let's do interact first. You can I interact, interacting with peers, with the text, with maps or with globes, interacting with materials that you might have, artifacts, primary sources, encyclopedias, world atlases, but interacting. And that peer interaction component is really important as well, but you are interest, they, are in, they are interacting with some form of external stimuli. stimuli. 
And then you have the I standing for illustrate. They can illustrate what they've learned about different concepts, about their feelings. They can include labels and captions. Illustrating may also be really good for kids who really just like to sit and draw or to like to doodle. For those students whose spelling may be a struggle for them or writing or putting sentences together consecutively um, that makes sense and flow might be your challenge. Illustrating could be very freeing and very calming and relaxing as well. So those are some options for you. So again, we're going to swirl. This particular focus is going to be on either writing or journaling and then I illustrating or interacting with the materials. And why are you doing that? To allow for self-expression. At the end, you want your children to have this smile on their face. <laughs> you want them to feel good about it. So they are making sense of the world around them, figuring out their role in the world and how they feel about what they've just learned. Thank you for allowing me this time with you. On the screen, you can see what you can interact with myself and find other videos, other instructional activity videos. You can join us on Godot Community, as well as finding more information and lessons on Inspire. Be well, take care, and thank you so much.